I have lost my eyesight in one eye and the other eye, according to the doctors, is starting to do the same thing. It's retina damage and I have to end this channel. I sold the motorcycle. That sounds drastic, but uh, with my circumstances, I need the funds to help pay the medical bills. I been talking to two different doctors and the senior doctor told me that my eyes are look like somebody that he's looked at that's in the professional boxing or the kickboxing world where they get an eye injury but in my case he said mine's probably due to age and heredity and it hit me when he said that because my mom had eye problems. Two of my uncles had eye problems. My grandfather had eye problems. So now I'm having eye problems. Uh, and it didn't occur to me until I was driving back from California. I was about 90 miles I think west of or northwest of Yuma, Arizona and I was out in the desert and all of a sudden I just couldn't see things and I was out in a remote area where there was nothing I mean no gas stations nothing for miles and I was crying in my helmet trying to figure out what was I going to do uh, because I was a three days drive away from home and but I made it and long story short I'm gonna end this YouTube channel it was dead on arrival anyway uh, I started it before knowing what I was getting into really and I was unprepared and I was trying to do things with some used GoPro Hero 7 blacks that I melted one of them in the desert out there it just the heat just took it out. The other one, I ended up with some B-roll and that's all I got out of my whole trip that year. And this was last summer. Uh, it is May 25th, 2024 when I'm making this. And I'm probably going to leave the channel up for a couple of months, but probably at the end of July I'm going to take it down. Uh, because for me to see anything, what I'm doing, I I have to be about this close to the computer screen to, to read anything. Basically, I can't read anything anymore, hardly. Uh, I noticed it when I was out in L.A. I, I uh, was listening to the GPS lady tell me where to go, but I couldn't see the street signs. I couldn't read them. So I was going round and round in circles out there several times and um, the doctor said that uh, there's a chance it could heal up by itself but I think even he didn't believe that when he was telling me that I think he was just trying to give me hope but I'm not giving up um, I'm gonna see I'm gonna keep getting uh, it checked up on and see if there's anything to do that I can do. Uh, the surgery they told me only gives me a 50-50 chance and I don't like those odds so I'm not going to do it. I, I just don't want to spend all those thousands of dollars and have to lay face down facing the ground for a week for it to go back up into my the back of my eye to work and I know my body it my body takes forever to heal it it won't heal in a week it, it's not going to do it I I'm just not willing to go through all that pain and suffering and then come out and have it not work so I'm sticking I'm driving the Jeep and uh, if I hit a pothole in it that I don't see it can take a beating and keep on going but I'm staying local uh, the reason is because 
I know my way around without seeing street signs. I don't need to see street signs, and so I'm staying local. Uh, you know, I, I can go to the city 200 miles away or 100 miles away. I still know my way around, but other than that, I just can't do the channel anymore. It's just too difficult. I, the the uh, posting and the editing is too difficult and writing is just out of the question now. I can't see good enough. I can follow somebody that's immediately in front of me and they can, if they warn me where the potholes are, I can follow them. I'm good enough to do that. But I'm, I, uh, the group of people I used to ride with don't ride anymore because they've had uh, life interrupted with family issues and health issues also so uh, all the signs are telling me it's time and uh, I apologize to my followers for not updating this sooner but I was busy seeing doctors and getting tests and trying to see if there was anything I can do and it turns out there's just not not there's not anything I can do except that one surgery and I just I'm not willing to spend all that money which would basically take my life savings away and then have it not work I just I don't want to face that so uh, this YouTube channel is going to be gone. I'm sorry. I apologize to everybody. Uh, I wish you well. I hope you guys live a long and happy life. And please do it for me. Ride every chance you get and as much as possible. And, you know, I used to watch Adam Sandoval and his wife and they would say, buy the damn motorcycle. And if you younger guys, listen to this advice, please. Buy the motorcycle and get get your um, dream rolling uh, don't wait like I did I, I put it off and I I kept thinking you know when I retire I'll have the time to go see the country no that may not happen it didn't happen for me I, uh, thankfully I got to see the East Coast I uh, made it to Ocean City Bike Fest and then the next year I went on the Route 66 run to Santa Monica, California. I'm, I'm grateful to having made those two trips and uh, that's gonna have to be it for me. Uh, so I'm gonna have to live vicariously through you guys and watch whatever you post if you're on YouTube. Uh, and that's another thing I wish for you is uh, once you get going Try to do a YouTube channel. Uh, you may not want to, but it might be a lot of fun for you, and it, it could take you places where you never thought you would go. So let me end this. I don't want to waste more of your time. Your time is the most valuable thing you have, and uh, I wish everybody well. God bless you. And don't be surprised if I may pop up at a motorcycle rally here and there. I won't be on a motorcycle. I'll just be in the crowd. I, for some reason, I can't stay away from motorcycles. I just love motorcycles. I always have. And now I'm having to force my, myself to stay away from the Harley dealers. Because if I walk into one of them, I'm like, uh, I'll be, you know, I always have that itch. I've always got that itch to, to do it again. But... Now I'm to the point I'm 65 years old and I'm aged out, I guess. Uh, so take it from me, do it as soon as you can and do it often as you can and enjoy your life as much as possible. God bless you and I will see you out there.